What's the Great Commission? You know what the Great Commission is? Go into all the world and do what? Preach the gospel to everybody. Why, why, why do we need to do that? Why do we need to do that? Because if they don't hear the gospel, they can't be saved. In Romans 10, uh, we could pick it up in verse 13, whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Whoever will call on the name of the Lord, Jew or Gentile, there's no distinction, he says back in verse 12. Whoever believes will not be disappointed, verse 11. Then verse 14, how will they call on Him in whom they haven't believed? How will they believe in Him whom they haven't heard? How will they hear without a what? A what? Preacher. How will they preach unless they're sent? No wonder they say, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news of good things. Verse 17, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word concerning Christ. So John is a model. John came for a witness to give testimony about the Lord Jesus Christ so that all might believe through His preaching, through His ministry. People come to salvation by believing preachers, by believing the evidence they present, by believing other, other Christians who have taken the gospel to them and explained it and given the facts and supported it. And those who come to Christ come to Christ through human means and say from that Old Testament text, of course, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. We love the people who brought us the gospel, right? The goal of gospel ministry is believing through our preaching. That's why Paul says, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power of God to salvation to everyone who believes. I'm a debtor to the Jew and the Greek to preach the gospel, all that in Romans 1, 16 to 18. It may be foolishness, 1 Corinthians 1, it may be a stumbling block, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God unto salvation. 